I know I've just done a full massive uh, excellent introductory video there uh, without pressing the record button <laughs> well we're, we're here where's here Donna uh, that there is the Araga Alps behind us more Araga Alps uh, over that way up there that is the cobbler that way uh, it's Bendonic I've already done a bit of Bendonic before about three quarters of the way up uh, and then the, the heavy heavy winds really heavy winds man uh, strong winds uh made donna just say no no so if you want to copy this cup copy sorry if you want to recreate this camp because i know a lot of people like to recreate me camps uh, When you get to this junction, yeah, don't take the low road, take the high road, aye? There's my turn off. Again, you're looking for the fence post, I'll show you. You're looking for this fence post with a picture of a person, yeah, and then a Rambo headband. Yep, as soon as you see that up here and it's telling you it's steep that there is the steepness look at that almost vertical i've got my rambo headband on uh let's do it right <laughs> uh let's put the camera away A red hot day as well, mate. That's not helping. That has got me absolutely pagged. Uh, that's. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wipe me, me eyes with the tissue that's in my pocket. We'll see no more. <laughs> what? Sometimes things have got to be done. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, 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 nice little style here for to sit on. I remember this off last time. This is as far as I came last time. Uh, have a look around them rocks. See if I can pitch on top of them. Uh, I am going up there. I'm sure you can get a nice pitch up there. I'll spin you around, show you where we are. Let's see, we're just above the tree line here. That's this way. I need to get the top so I get a, a light for longer the night and fingers crossed the sunset. Oh. Hey, I think I'll just sit here for five, chin some water. Oh. And enjoy summer. Yeah, all the kids are back at school. Yeah, everyone's had their holidays. Everyone's had most of their holidays taken. Yeah, he has done her. That's just found summer. Get in. Right, and you can see why they call them the Arrogant Alps. And get up high in that north puts a spring back in your step. Boy does it. Heading down that way, that is the way to Arica. That's your 883 running along the side there. Right, we are gonna go and pitch up near that rock. Cracking good views. I've been up there. There's something a little bit weird though. Uh, something very weird. Uh, I'm still going to pitch there though because the views is phenomenal. But it's weird. So like I say, I've just scouted this out 10 minutes ago. Uh, and then I come up and I saw that and it's like, oh, what is it? I was like, it's a bloody sheep. And then I'm like, no, it's a sheepskin rug. And then I'm like, hold on, it's a bloody dog. Is it a sheepskin rug or what? Look at 
Looks like so. <laughs> that looks like someone's dog. That they've had all the insides taken out of, and they've brought its pelt up here, uh, and it's a bit weird. Be sleeping with the ghost of a ship tonight. <laughs> oh God! Literally can't make this stuff up, can you? <laughs> There's only one person in the world this could happen to, isn't it, eh? Yeah, me and my pal, Shep. Nice spot for a mind. And it's, it's, I'm like, uh, <laughs> and I'm looking, thinking, surely it would full of, be full of maggots and flies and stuff and stink. There's, there's none of that about it. Uh, one part just looks like it's been skinned, like someone skinned that dog. Oh God, someone skinned that dog up here. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm still pitching here. It's marvellous. I don't like it. <laughs> Donovan Senior and Shep reporting from the Arakas. Oh, and we're here. We're pitched. Uh, downwind of Shep. It's just really weird. So it's like it's been disemboweled. We so was late at the carry up. Uh, it's a lovely thought. It's just very bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's nice late for us, isn't, isn't it? Eh? Right, uh, sun's going down behind there about six ish. Uh, hopefully, I'll just get some nice colours over this side because there was neat ones I was hiking up there. Do I pitch then? How are you? There's the tomb of Shep. I'll stop going on about them soon. Oh, here. Oh, matron. That's a pretty... <laughs> that is a pretty good trio of camps I have had so far this trip. There we have it. That's a canny, canny splendid a little perch for this evening. Oh... There's the TFM and a can of Thatcher's eh? Let's see what we can create. And spot on six bells. That is the sun going down. We get a bit chillier at my campsite. Not to worry. I know where there's a nice sheepskin rug. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm up on 410 meters, which isn't much. It'll do me. That there is a 747. Quite a flight up there, I suppose. Get worse. So I'm just walking over here. Try to see if I can find a nice angle for an, you know, an arty TFM shot. Well, I didn't quite find that, did I? But I can show you what I did find. Where am I pitched here? Right, where? What's going on? There's me there, yeah. He's trembling.
What's that? What is it? Is it Son of Shep? I don't understand why. I just don't understand. That looks, looks more like a, a chicken. I don't know, I'm no animal expert. I'm no vet. I think it's well past uh, anything a vet could do for it. So I'll not be going round the back there, near Shep 1. And I've got that there. Oh. What? What type of place am I in? What type of devil worship place am I in? Oh, God. Still a really nice pitch though, isn't it? Eh? Look at that. Wow. But apart from the fact it's a really nice pitch, it's a really, really creepy pitch. I don't know what I'm sleeping next to. Well, not be the Force Titan. <laughs> oh, man. Eh, and like a magician's assistant, watch. Let's just forget about all of the death in the A83 ruining this camp. Uh, let's just revel in the moment. Ah, oh, Lord lovers, eh? Lord lovers. Eh, hey, so it is cooking time. Hey, Dan, that's my, that's my tea for tonight. It is a bachelor's uh, cheese and broccoli pasta sauce. Repackaged with the addition of three teaspoons of powdered milk. Oh, there we go. There's your powdered milk and I've got a, a, a little knob, a wee knob of butter in there as well. Nice for the repackage it, uh, it fits in the bag better than it does in the original packaging. Not wrong with that. And then plus if you're adding sort of powdered milk up a hill, there's a chance that the wind might blow it away and then it looked like a scene out of Scarface. And nobody wants that. So we'll take the midges out the pan first, add this, all the while being mindful of that's all the water I've got all night. Add this. Getting all of that powdered goodness into that lovely pan. As easy as that. Then we need to carefully add 350 mils of water. One, two, three, fifty. And that's how that part of the evening is done. The next part is the joy of zigzag. Uh, remember zigzag fil uh, uh, <laughs> roly papers? Yeah, many happy uh, a memory of a zigzag roly paper. Pre-filled, the speedster. And that's it. We are on our jolly happy way for 10 minutes time. A lovely tea. At the minute though, it sounds about as healthy as Shep. Hmm, but we shall bring you back. There we go, one slightly congealed uh, cheese and broccoli pasta by bachelors. Eaten by Donna's. They were also bachelors. You can do in the dishes with a little piece of heather and a nice oop on me, a nice abrasive. That'll be it. That's me the night. Bloody lush. Toodles. Right, I'm just having some roasted salted cashews. Because I'm a classy, I'm a classy broad. Uh, I miss Aldi. You don't really get that many Aldis in Scotland. Or certainly not on Arran or Isla or Jura. And they're not up the Aragas either. So I'm getting ready for bed. I've got there. Uh, I'm just finishing my last peeve. Uh, I'm just itching the cleavage there. Yeah. Uh, 
I've stuck a little tiny video, a little TFM video up on Facebook. I'm getting quite the hang of editing TFM footage uh, on my phone and like little popping little teasers up. And then I've just got to put my over blanket on. Like a builder's blanket that. I'll stick that over my sleeping bag because it'll get a little bit chilly. Uh, and that is about the scenes for this evening. We had a couple of weird noises. I don't think it's the ghost of Shep. Uh, or, or Shep Mark II or like part of Shep. Uh, whatever the hell's been going on here. I just hope uh, whoever owned Shep isn't going to be coming up and having a beer uh, to sit with him. <laughs> right? Oh, I got, got all giggly there. Uh, I'm going to sign up. I'll see you tomorrow. But for now, uh, it's night from night from DVS. Uh, up with, what a pitch, eh? Get in. What a lovely pitch again. Right. Doodles. Morning guys from a very squidgy faced Don Donna. Uh, no sleep, literally no sleep, or maybe it's a couple of a couple of bits, certainly not any slaver on the pillar that I spotted. Uh I'm packing me me mess down. There you go, that is packing in action. You are welcome. That is all the stuff that goes in my 48. And then the 48 goes on the back of this thing here. Uh and then so I knew I'd pitched a bit moundy. I did it because it just looks really good on photos. <laughs> Plus a, a, a cracking good, uh, cracking good pitch up here, uh, even with a pet cemetery behind us. So maybe this isn't like a, 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 a standard hill. Maybe it's a burial mound. Uh, unsure, unsure. I just didn't get a good sleep. Uh, so for now, uh, it's ciao. For from the messy, get a state of that. Eh? I'm done as a little tip. <laughs> How easy is that? Literally 10 minutes later, that is uh, the tent emptied. I'm just going to let it sit for two minutes. Tiny bit of condensation on one door. So, the journey back. Down here, round there, round the back of that, down. Hit the tree lane, down. Uh, bottom of the tree lane there, that, and round a bit. And I'm behind there. So that's me steps for this morning sorted. Right, that is us done. That is a last night's moundy shaped. Look at that. Yeah, it actually looks like an altar. We'll go and have one last look at Trip. Because we're still a little bit uh, freaked out by this. Nice morning. What the hell is it? We're gonna get a double zoom on, hold on. That's not a sheep. It looks like it's been pelted there, yeah, like it's head took off. There's no paws, there's no legs. I touched it yesterday with my stick, the stomach in the head, whether it's a stone or whether it's a skull. Unsure, it's just the weirdest thing ever. And that looks like it's a little face, doesn't it? And a little tuft of hair on its head. Wow. It's just very peculiar. Hold on. There we go. Uh, it's just I. <laughs> and I've just slept up there. You have a right minger. <laughs> uh, 20 degrees. Oh, it's gone up to 21. No, 20 degrees. Uh, it's a quarter past nine in the morning. Hello summer. I might only have you for a few days, but I'm pleased I'm not at work. Gonna have five here, sip a bit of water, put the knob ends back on my sticks because I'm on hard tack. I used to mean something totally different when I was younger. Hard tack. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm on <laughs> I'm on firmer ground. And I think I'll just stop it here. Uh, I would like to say a big, massive thank you to my friend, Sharon. Uh, Sharon, you know which Sharon you are, Sharon D. Thank, thank you, you absolute bonkers, uh, bonkers, generous woman 
for the donation for the motion lotion, uh, the petrol for this this uh, me big trip this year. Uh, uh, thank you. I was really hoping to get a lot further. I was hoping to dip my toes back into Rassi, but with the problems with the car, I'm being sensible uh, and I'm keeping off anywhere where if I broke down, it would be really problematic for to get help or get get home. So, that, but thank you. Stuff sticking to his aloe. Well, I'm, I'm that moist. I'm that moist thanking you. <laughs> You'll laugh at that one, won't you? <laughs> uh, Sharon, man, the, 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 the cheers. Right, uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I'm going to uh, end it here. Uh, I'm, as I say, I'm heading down to meet, uh, meet Annie. And then I need to... Uh, I'm going to gently head down to meet Annie and then I'm heading across to Edinburgh on Friday for to have a day with my son and then back home and then straight to the garage on Monday. <sighs> That's the plan anyway. It's been not what I expected. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. I've still got another couple of camps to come and I'll do another couple of videos but I just wanted to do a big old shout out for Sharon there. Uh, give me a little moist thank you. <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. Ciao! And...